Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Chicago White Sox going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. So digging in, Jay Mack. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And it's off the batter's eye. He'll touch them all. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. High fastballs, especially with good velocity, can be really hard to catch up to, but he stays tall, his top hand works extremely well, and he absolutely clobbered it. Runners at the corners here, one away. And now the switch hitting oh, catcher, God. Jay Mack. The catcher. It's interesting Yay. he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So oh, when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Intentional pass coming, base is now loaded, though it does set up a force at every base. Now that the first baseman. Tommy. Tommy Armstrong, Armstrong now at the plate. Armstrong hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. He's driving like a yeah, Let's go. And a foul ball. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. 2-2 two -two now. And that one is lifted in the air. Goldberg under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. Here comes the runner from third. He's in to score on the sack fly. It's 3-2. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. Now it's Nick Senzel. First and second, two down. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right here. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next offering in the dirt. Ball two. Come on, baby. See it? Drive it. Let's go. And another ball. Hey, you can do it, kid. No one better up there. Let's go. And he walked him. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So two down, and up next for Chicago, Leover Peguero. Grounded out his first time up. Swing and a ball lifted left field. That's back there. And go! Home run number 10 of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 7-2. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Here's a speed threat, Johnny Hedger. Now batting, center fielder, Johnny Hedger. And a bunt towards third. To first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. It doesn't surprise anyone when he gets on base by dropping down a bunt. I mean, 
This is just the latest example of him using his speed to his advantage and showing off his skills with the bat. That was very nice. The pitch. And that one wrapped foul. Come on, kid. Get on for us. Here we go. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. On the ground. Tosses the first, one away here in the fifth. Now battle. So up next for Chicago, Jay Mack. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Matt. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. He elevates that a little bit more. It's definitely out of here. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Tommy Armstrong steps to the plate for the White Sox. And that one moves his feet. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Struck him out. Now one away. Evan Miller gets handed the rock out of the pen. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Nick Senzel steps to the plate for the White Sox. Here's a 1-1. One, one. The other way. And a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Tying runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him in the inning. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Righty delivers, and that chance handled. There's one to first double play. The old Lawrence Welk, a one, a two, a three, and that'll do it. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Jay Mack steps to the plate for the right, White Sox. That's something you like right here. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. Yeah. He's looking to do damage with Matt. every swing he takes. Right guy, right place. Here we go. Swung out, belted. Deep. That one went back there, and that one's going to land not so much here, but here. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they throw three on the board. It's 11-10. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Just an absolute slugfest. Not a good day to be a pitcher. There are going to be a lot of sore necks. Guys turning left, turning right, balls flying all over. Neither staff had anything working, and these offenses just kept exchanging blows. Close one here today, and your final 11-10. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and RNC.